Come va ragazzi? Guillaume qui e bentornati a PCM per la tappa finale del Giro d'Italia. A time trial today to wrap up the first Grand Tour of the season between Senago and Milano. I hope everyone is having a great day because today might be the day where Emmanuel Buchmann becomes a Grand Tour winner. If you've missed the previous episodes, I highly, highly recommend you to go ahead and check them out. But if you're here today, it's because you want to see the end of this Giro. And I'm not going to make you wait any longer. Let's go. And the time trial has started. Riccardo Minali is the first rider to go, and he is actually, in real life, the Marianera of this Giro d'Italia. Last place on both PCM and Giro. I believe that that is an achievement. Uh, our first rider to go will be Mashi Bodnar. My recons will be done most likely with Bodnar Groschartner. Potentially Fabro, as uh, in case of a good day, the Italian has very similar stats to Buchmann for the central and the flat element. So we'll see how that goes, but I would be lying to you if I said I wasn't confident. I'd, I'd say right now I'm 30-70 towards a Bernal win. Mashi Bernal is the first one, as I said, to uh, go in our team. Michael Evan currently leading 34-37 for uh, the uh, Aussie ahead of Taco Van der Horn and Attilio Viviani. Andri Ponema, P5, very well. For the 18 year old who will finish his first ever Grand Tour. That deserves to be uh, to be mentioned. But yeah, now the the first big rider in my team has started. At least is my best time trialist on paper. Hopefully, hopefully I can um well do well with him and therefore do well with Bochman. Merci Bernard ran out of energy just across the line. 28 seconds behind um Michael Hebern. Max Valscheid is also doing well. 76 time trial for uh, for the German, but I think the man currently leading on both intimates is the Dutch champion, Jason Emden. One rider who did well in real life uh, and on PCM as well was Eduardo Affini. However, today is not going to be his day. 21 seconds. P4 yeah. for Max Kanza, I believe being uh, German and being called Max, is a plus on this time trial as Max Valscheid is also in P3. Plus 5 for Alejo uh, Not that I really care about him, but if I could have another plus 5 later on with a German rider, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, but following Alejo is going to be Victor Campanas, one of the main favorites for today's time trial alongside uh, Rémi Cavana, the French champion, and Philippe Ogana, who both start in around 10 positions now, I believe. But yeah, the main three favorites will be on the road at the same time. Campanart is the first one to, uh, well, to draw, I guess. And we'll have Tobias Foss, Cavana, and Ghana in a matter of seconds. Here is the French champion on the way. Rémi Cav, the TGV of Clermont-Ferrand. I mean, he did not do well on the inaugural time trial. Can he do well on the closing one? I'm not sure. The one who had done very well on the opening one was Tobias Foss, who was the first Maria Rosa. We'll see if he can win both uh, the inaugural and the closing time trial of this Giro, but it will be tough knowing that on the road there will be not Davide Villela because nobody really cares about Davide Villela in the time trial aspect, but the man that follows him, another Italian wearing the number, I believe, 41. It is indeed Filippo Ganna with the jersey of world champion putting his, his glasses back on every single detail counts for the man riding on this Pinarello bike stupendous bike a Pinarello, bo a Pinarello bolid and a bolid is what he is guy on the road for a stage win today approaching the first intermediate for the Italian rider what it is it is it is first place 6 seconds quicker than Cavagna 9 seconds quicker than Tobias Foss and Victor Campenart the Italian is on the way to, you, to, to win this time trial He's, he's a bit good, this guy, isn't he? Remy Cavagna is the next rider to take the lead, or the line, sorry. Victor Campenart is leading in uh, Milano. We'll see what happens to Cavagna. First place, 8 seconds quicker than Tobias Foss. Very good time trial by the rider from, uh, from TJV being beaten by the TGV. Castro Vieiro, 1 minute 10 down on this man right here. There he is. Philippe Gana, 4k to go. And um, I think the win is for him. 1k to go for Filippo Ghana. We're currently in a wall. Ghana across the line. It's going to be P1 3304 39 seconds quicker than Remy Cavagna. I'd be lying if I said there was anyone that I think could beat him. Peter Sagan is on the road. He's not going to be able to beat him. Maybe, maybe another rider from the Canon Quick Step that will start in about 42 positions now. I think he might be the only rider able to defeat Ghana. And as I expected, Matteo Favreau has a decent day uh, with stats relatively similar to one of Buchmann. 
Hopefully, uh, I can mimic his time trial on Emmanuel and potentially do well. Maybe even go as far as beating Bernal. It's an unbelievable day for, for uh, Gros Chartner. 79 flats, 77 time trial, 83 prologue, but nobody really gives a shit about that. But it's a great day. Could be a potential top 10 for Gros Chartner. Hell, maybe a top 5. Yeah, but let's go for a top 10. 1k to go for until uh, the next intimate uh, sector for Gros Chartner. I think we should forget about the top 10. He's currently sitting in P15 in the likes of um, Alex Dowsett, Eduardo Affini, Alberto Vettel. It's not a bad central at all for Gros Chartner, but um, yeah, I expected the top 10 to be maybe a bit more reachable, especially when you see the likes of Kun Boomen and uh, Nicholas Roche being here. But apparently, it uh, might be um, too much of a step for, uh, for Austrian uh, rider. Final kilometer for Gros Chartner. I'm going to push it to the line, and it is going to be ninth place. 131 behind Ghana, just ahead of Michael Herbert. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a top 10, but it's a provisional one. I don't think it's going to stand. And the top 10 of this Giro has begun. Mark Soler, 19 minutes down, has started his effort. He'll be followed by Alexander Vlasov, the Russian rider from Astana. Hasn't had the greatest of zeros. He's sitting 15 minutes down. The gaps are massive on this Giro, meaning that uh, the fact that we've only got 19 seconds between P1 and P2 is somewhat remarkable. Hugh Carthy is sitting in P8. 40 minutes and 30 seconds down behind him, another British rider, Simon Yates, the rider in shape in the real Giro, not so much on PCM, however, it'll be followed by a rider in shape on PCM, and that is going to be Mikel Landa, a shame that he's not taking part of the Giro, or in the Giro, in real life, but um, yeah, despite 6 9 in time trial, he may try to do something, however, however, the next rider to go, Joao Almeida, 77 time trial, 627, wearing the white jersey of Egan Bernal, may be able to overtake whoever is in P4, and that P4 is stage winner, Romain Barlet, 552 for the Frenchman, but a bad time trial, and only a 30 second cushion on Almeida, makes me wonder if he can keep that position when we see the gaps today. Bauke Molama, runner up uh, behind Barlet on the stage that he won, is sitting in P3 and right next, right after, sorry, Balko Malama is the man, the myth, the legend, Emmanuel Buchmann. It's an okay day. It's an okay day. It's an okay day. <sighs> Come on. Come on, Emmanuel. This is now or never. This is your chance. You've got one shot, one opportunity. Right behind him, Egan Bernal. Fully, fully in pink. The gloves are pink. The kit is pink. The socks are pink. Everything is pink today for Egan Bernal. What can the Colombian do? Hopefully, he can lose 19 seconds on Emmanuel Buchmann. In the time for Buchmann, 30 seconds behind Filippo Ganna. Here is again Bernal in the distance. We are going to move on to uh, the Colombian rider. What does he do? What does he do? We said 30 seconds. We have to come back 19 seconds. 20, 24 seconds. Again, Bernal is going to win this Giro d'Italia. Despite having a plus one, I don't think there's anything I can do today because it's just, he's got a good day, he's got a good day, isn't it? And we're currently in those swooping bends in this lovely town. I don't know where this is. I'm guessing the outskirts of Milan. Uh, but here you can see in the distance Emmanuel Buchmann. But I'm afraid, I'm afraid that Egan Bernal will be winning this Giro d'Italia. He, he doesn't look like, a, like he's about to, to lose a Grand Tour, if we're being honest. I don't know if there is a look of I'm a lose a Grand Tour face. But if there was one, I don't think that is the look that Egan Bernal is currently wearing. 114 at the second minute for Buchmann. We'll see what happens. With Egan Ali, Bernal Gomez as he crosses this sector. 110, 4 seconds. We can we close back 4 seconds. We need to close back 23 in the remaining 7 kilometers if we want to win the Giro d'Italia. But once again, I don't really believe it'll happen. Joao Almeida, though, moving on to uh, potentially getting that P4 and maybe not that P3 because Pokemon is 35 seconds down. Final kilometer for Emmanuel Burman. He's given everything on this Giro d'Italia. He most likely won't win it, but at least he tried. Across the line, 146. Egan Bernal, 1.5k to go for the Colombian. He can't really parade. He can't really enjoy the moment, but he most likely will as he will cross the line. Let me just make some quick mathematics. 146. Bernal needs to finish within 2 minutes and 5 seconds of his teammate, Filippo Gana. Egan Bernal, across the line. 207! Two minutes seven! Two minutes seven!
Yo, 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 I'm, I'm hoping I'm not getting gassed up for nothing, but I think we win for two seconds. I think we win for two seconds. <laughs> Come on! Emmanuel Buchmann is a Grotto winner for two seconds. The amount of time PCMs have shaked me. And I take my revenge on the last Grand Tour on PCN 2020. What a way to wrap up this game. Egan Bernal second of the GC for two little seconds. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, yo, I can't believe it. Fausto Masnada wins the Maria Azzurra. Peter Sagan is going to win Chiclamino. What on earth just happened? <laughs> We just won the Giro d'Italia for two seconds. There has been no wild classification. No, the the best on Guada. Oh, there is, but he's got no jersey. Is it because he lost it, isn't it? I don't know. But Egan Bernal wins the best on Guada classification. At least he won't leave this Giro empty handed, but that's not the jersey he wanted to bring home. What an L! What an L! Oh my god. Baron Victorious will leave this Giro victorious uh, by winning the team classification. I can't believe it. Cannot believe it. Filippo Ganna wins this time trial ahead of Joel Meda, Rémi Cavagna to vice versa, Victor Campanart is in P6, De Rent in P5, Jan Tratnik, Hugh Carthy with a very, very nice 8th position, Patti Bevin and Damiano Caruso in P10. Oh, come on, I'm at P13, I don't know how that happened, sorry, P12. Uh, but... I'm not gonna lie, yeah? I mean, I, I, you, you saw my reaction. I didn't think that was gonna be a thing, especially when I was 16 seconds down after the first 10 minutes. I was not 6, I was 6 seconds down. Then 4... And in 7 kilometers, I had to close back 23 seconds. And Emmanuel Buchmann closed back 20... Wait, 21 seconds? Yeah, so he did close back at the end 25 seconds, 21 plus 4. To win this Giro d'Italia. What on earth? What on earth happened? It's an earthquake. It's a hell. It's, it's a tsunami. I don't know. It's like 10 on the scale of Richter. What if I... I don't know. Overall, it is five stage wins for Peter Sagan, two wins for Buchmann, one win for Felix Groschartner, a GC, the Chiclamino jersey, the Azura on which we sadly messed up. If we had won it, the, if we had won that jersey, it would have been unreal. But I believe this is an incredible Giro, and what a way to wrap up PCM 2020. There, there should be two more videos on this game, uh, the Crescent of Cine, which is going to be probably on Monday, and the Tour de Suisse, which might be on PCM 2021. But it'll depend on like the GBs and shit. So right now, we're most likely going to do it on 2020. But what a way to wrap up this game. And what a way to just say goodbye to today's game. And I wanted to use those moments to say thank you for the support on the channel this year. Um, I haven't reached the amount of subs I wanted. I wanted to get 2,000 by 2021 uh, when I'm in May. And I've been nearing that quota for so, so long. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, a sub would be greatly appreciated. I wouldn't be so grateful also thank you for the 200 subscribers over on ascent my podcast alongside tim soski thank you very much for that that really 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 means a lot but if you've enjoyed this series if you've enjoyed this video if you want to show some support for emmanuel buchmann then destroy that like button as he fucking deserves it as i said if you're new to the channel and you want to see more of my content for pcm 2021 coming up feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already leave a comment down below i'll answer to most likely everyone and I will see you in the very, very near future. But my name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. And in the words of Emmanuel Buchmann, Auf Wiedersehen. Pass me the funk, get your funk on girl and don't you ever let Pass me the go. funk, we're getting drunk in here and what comes next.